A debate is raging at the state capitol over universal school vouchers known as empowerment scholarship accounts. The cost to the state exploded beyond what was expected and now state lawmakers are facing the question of how to pay for it. Team 12's Joe Dana is here and, and Joe some school advocates say the state actually saves money from these ESAs. Is that true? So it depends on how you look at it. Now this is what we know. Uh, there are 30,000 new universal vouchers that students are using this year. The program is popular. The question lawmakers are going to need to answer moving forward is at what benefit and at what cost. It was Doug Ducey's signature school reform last year, but it's coming at a much higher price than expected. According to the nonpartisan Joint Legislative Budget Committee, the projected cost of the ESA program this year was $33 million, but the actual cost is $200 million six times the amount. You know, it's a massive taxpayer-funded ATM at this point. Public school advocates who fought against the universal voucher law say they're not surprised. You know, there is zero savings to the state, and in fact, it's going to drain hundreds of millions of dollars from our general fund, um, which is a direct cut to our local public schools and can also impact transportation, health care. As the director of the nonpartisan JLBC explained earlier this month, lawmakers must now figure out how to pay for the vouchers because they did not include the program in the annual budget. We've never really faced that circumstance before where it's sort of like you've got this requirement, but it isn't funded. House Appropriations Chair Republican David Livingston acknowledged there will be debate over the future of the program. One way or the other, we have to fund this for last year. The, the political debate is, is really going forward. In its report this month, the JLBC also estimated the net impact from a pupil switching from a public school to the ESA program next year is approximately $500. In other words, $500 more per student for an ESA voucher. Governor Katie Hobbs wants to do away with the program altogether. Others are calling for accountability measures. Earlier this month, we spoke with House Speaker Ben Toma, the legislator most responsible for the new voucher law. Are you okay with account a bit more accountability for vouchers? Like I said, details matter. We're going to have to see what everything looks like before we commit to anything at all. And if you look at state and local funding only, a student who switches from public school to use a voucher for private school creates that added cost to the state. That's according to the JLBC. However, if you include federal funding and the expense associated with running public schools, overall per pupil spending appears to be more for a public school student compared to uh, an ESA voucher student. So it depends on how you look at it. The average voucher cost this year, a little over $11,000. Either way, it appears to be a problem. <laughs> it's Yeah, financially, they're going to have to figure out where they're going to get yeah. the money to pay for it this year and then moving forward. That wasn't included in the budget. Right. Yeah. Joe, thanks. Okay.